And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video we've actually got some big transfer news for you, as it does seem as though Liverpool have agreed their first deal of the transfer window after a recent Fabrizio Romano reveal. Yes, our first incoming of the transfer window, we'll of course discuss that in detail. Now, I think a lot of Liverpool fans still digesting the fact that we've missed out on Martin Zubamendi due to him deciding to stay at Real Sociedad um, and still sort of digesting the news that kind of we're not really looking for another alternative in, in, in that position, which again, I think is suicidal at this moment in time, regardless of how you feel about our talent at our disposal in terms of the younger players. I still genuinely believe that we need to be making a number six, whether that be Alan Varela, whether that be Edison, they can come in and play that sort of position. I, I I genuinely do believe that Liverpool are still a, a while away. There's a big gap between the rest of the teams. And Liverpool, I'm talking Arsenal and Manchester City, both of them have strengthened this summer. Arsenal have brought in a, a in Calafuri, who I thought actually at the time was perfect for Liverpool, to be perfectly honest, as that left um, sort of solid centre-back role that can also play as a left-back. But um, we didn't make that signing. We still need defensive signings. We still need a potential midfield signings. Um, and again, I hope this board don't sit there and think that we've got enough. I, I know that. I know the way that they try and go about things. I know that they like to be patient. I know they like to not buy for the sake of buying. But it's clear and apparent from the fan base, from Arne Slot, from everybody else that we need a new number six because the players that we currently got in that position can't play that role that Arne Slot wants to try and do with it. Martin Zubamendi, yes, was the perfect addition to go into that role, but there has to be plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, plan F. And again, there's better players already out there on the market that are available that can play that role that we currently have got. So don't give me that nonsense that there, there is no one available. There is people available. They need to identify that now and get that through the door. Now, as I stated, guys, we have been keeping you up to date with regards to the transfer saga. And Fabrizio Romano has provided an update, actually, with regards to our first signing. It's probably not the one that most fans want to hear about in terms of it's not a position sort of for the here and now. It's not a position for the midfield. It's not a position for the defence that we clearly need addressed. It's actually for the goalkeeper, yes. Uh, and that's that for Ito Romano this morning, moments ago, has just confirmed that Liverpool have agreed personal terms with Georgi Mamadashvili. Um, the Georgian goalkeeper, of course, is set to move to Liverpool if they, of course, our agents are now in Valencia for club talks. No agreement with the fee just yet. However, personal terms aren't a problem. He is going to be joining the, the football club if they can get that minor tweak over the line. Um, but it doesn't seem, as I said, it's not a signing for the here and now. It's one of those signings for the future. Liverpool are going to be bringing him in through the door and then sending him out on loan. At this moment in time, it does look like Bournemouth are the side that are open to signing him. Um, and as I said, they do believe, or Liverpool do believe, he will be the successor to Alisson Becker, which could say a lot about Kalahar as well. So again, it's not a signing for the right here and now, but it's a goalkeeper that's very, very young. I think he's six foot six, by the way. He's a colossal guy. Um, still a lot I think he's still kind of raw as I said young for a goalkeeper still has some, some improvements that needs to be made I don't think he's that great with the ball at his, at his feet um, and he's mostly one footed as well so it's something that over this sort of year two year period whilst he's going out on loan that he'll probably get better at but for the Arne slot system you know considering we're probably going to be keeping him for a long long time um, to play this sort of system there is a few things that he needs to approve upon but certainly has the potential to define an era in the Liverpool goalkeeping position position going forward. So um, yeah, I do think um, a good signing definitely for the future. Um, but as stated, it does seem as though he's going out on loan for either one or two years. Always a bit like that Thibaut Courtois thing that... Um, that Chelsea had done, obviously they had Petr Cech at the time, um, and then of course Petr Cech um, was Chelsea's number one, they brought in Thibaut Courtois, sent him out on loan to Atletico Madrid for two years, and then he really developed, and then when we started to hear about Thibaut Courtois, it was all of a sudden that he had overtaken sort of Petr Cech, he was ready to go into that Chelsea team and play. The same could be said about Alisson Becker, again, does this say something about his long-term future at the club? Could he be leaving after two years? Could he be going to the Saudi Pro League? Has he indicated that he potentially wants to leave and go to, to do another challenge? your pastor's new eventually. 
Again, these are all the questions that we have, but Liverpool, of course, have identified a goalkeeper that they want to define an era to be a long-term successor to Liverpool's Alisson Becker. Um, and that does look like that transfer will go through. Uh, Fabrizio Romano today has confirmed that a deal has been agreed. Um, and but we're just dealing with uh, the agents now um, looking forward to agree a fee with Valencia club are out in, in Valencia now to try and do it uh, but certainly guys he is a um, is one that would uh, be good. Um, um, as stated, Valencia want around 30 million euros for the player. And as I said, add-ons uh, for uh, Marmadeshvili as well. Um, and as stated, negotiations are ongoing with the two clubs to find an agreement. Um, but as I keep on saying, guys, it's not one for the here and now. He's going to be going out on loan straight away. And that looks like it's going to be Bournemouth. But wondering what happens with Kelleher, because everyone feels that Kelleher was going to be the long-term sort of successor to Alison Becker, but he sort of identified and, you know, made clear that he wants to go on to Pastor's New, play week in and week out now, not um, in two years' time. He wants to play week in and week out now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what the following effects have with regards to Kelleher in that position. Is he going to be going out the door somewhere? Is he going to be going somewhere else? It's, it's all very, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> But I'm sure we'll get um, some some the answers as we do go through to the summer transfer window. I did feel like Kelleher was future would have been resolved earlier on in the window. Um, you know, considering that he said that he wanted to leave. Um, there's three weeks left to go. We'd have to bring in a backup goalkeeper because Marmadeshvili is not going to be a backup goalkeeper for Liverpool this year. We just have Jaros and that's it. Obviously, Adrian left. So um, if Kelleher does leave at the, before the end of the window, then we need another goalkeeper to come in through the door. Because as I said, Marmadeshvili is not... Um, um, ready to, to, to start and he will not want to have his, his progress you know prolonged by playing as a number two to, to, to Alisson Becker the plan for him is to go out and play for another two years before then coming back into the sort of Liverpool setup so uh, I think there's a few moving pieces around uh, the stuff Kelleher sort of stuff has gone very very quiet could he be staying at Liverpool for another year has he been promised the cup games has he been promised more games going forward into the new season again these are the answers that we don't really have um, but then Liverpool are pro planning for the future and it does look like Marmadashvili will be coming to Anfield and he will be our first summer signing whilst again he is a very very good goalkeeper we still need progress. We still need additions now. We still need to bring in players through the window now. We need players to, to go into this team right now. And I think we'd be sleepwalking. I think we would be suicidal by making such a stupid decision um, and not getting some players in through the door before the, before the start of the Premier League season would have been ideal. But before the end of the window, I think it's absolutely suicidal um, from, from Liverpool. As I said, Title contenders, we finished third, remember? Finish third. Arsenal, Manchester City have strengthened and going to go again. What makes us think when we're ready to go just like this? We need additions, and it's clear as day. I think every supporter sees that. Anyway, enough of the wrong, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Marmadashvili down there in the comment section below. Do you think he's a good successor to Alison Becker? As stated, let me know in the comments. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.